Hey guys, in this video I'm going to build these custom bus bars that you can build for any size of a battery. Here's the final result, how, how it looks like. I spent about 3 hours to build these 16 bus bars and it cost me $1 per each. Let's jump to the video and see how to do it. Material I'm going to use for these bus bars is going to be this pure copper, uh, which I've got from an uh, online metals website. It's not an advertisement for this website. I purchased this for my own money. And the price I paid for these three bars, $40 including shipping. And uh, uh, each of these bars is 24 inch long. So price 10 bucks for each, but including shipping is $13 per one bar. Size for these bars is going to be 315 millimeters. Or if we go to inches, it's a one eighth of an inch, and length is going to be five eighths or sixteen, almost sixteen millimeters. I'm going to build bus bars for these batteries. It's lithium iron phosphate batteries, twenty five amp hours each cell, and um, I'm going to build one bus bar first, and then just replicate one for amount I needed. So for bus bar lens, I will, I will build about 42 millimeters or 1.6 inch. So next step, what, I, what I'm going to do, I will cut 1.6 inch or 42 millimeters, cut holes and then just check how it works on these cells. If it works fine, then I will cut many pieces and we will do bus bars. Alright, so we have this piece now. Next step, I'm going to measure distance between studs. So this is about 26, 26, 75 millimeters or one inch, three sixty fourths. Okay, so this is first smaller, smaller holes, just to check if um, I'm locating them correctly. It looks like I am. So we have holes uh, directed right to studs. So next step, I'm just gonna measure size for for the studs. It's almost six millimeters or in inches it's fifteen sixty fourths. So I'm just gonna take fifteen sixty fours. Alright, so it looks like it's perfect fit. Yeah, this is exact size I want to do. Alright, so this is first prototype. So next step I'm going to do is... Um, I will just cut many pieces of this. I, I need, uh, at this point, I need uh, 16 pieces.
have all these bus bars and I'm just gonna start already started marking holes where needs to be four studs and then drill every uh, bus bar. Here's what we've got. Next step is optional, but if you like to have like these rounded uh, bus bars, what we can do is just to take nut that we're going to use. Mark this rounded shape. And then I'm going to use uh, this angle grinder disc and I'm just gonna send it around to make bus bar rounded. So this is what we're getting after we cut edges. So this is how bus bar looks like looks uh, after sanding with 80 grit sandpaper. Uh, in my opinion, it's too much. It takes too much effort to make this round. So in my case, I'm going to keep all this square. Next step I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to um, sand all bus bars just slightly to remove any marks that this jar, job pliers live in, for example, that one or, or that one, because I, I can feel this a little bit. So I'm going to sand every piece on 80 grit paper and uh, next step I'm going to sand this on a 180 grit paper, sandpaper, sandpaper. And here's the result after 180 grit, sand grit paper. Okay, I'm setting up all of these sandpapers here. First is 80 grit, second is uh, 180, and last one is uh, 400. Let me send one bus bar and we will see result after every sand grit. And you can decide if you need to send up to 400 or even more. Or 80 grit or 180 is gonna be enough. So I'm gonna take first. Second and third. Okay, so here is the result. This is what eighty grid sandpaper. This one is 180. This is after 400. I think I need to send a little bit more for 400. Let's do a little bit more. One. At 
I don't think 400 needed, but up to 180 is gonna be good because here is, a, I see like pretty deep scratches. All right, so now I'm gonna send all of this and uh, then we'll move to the next step. Okay, so all of the bus bars send it and now is the last step. We can just attach bus bars to the battery. Okay, and here's the final result. One additional step, what we can do, it's not necessary for this bus bars because it's like too short but if you have longer bus bars what we can do is just to mark where our nut ending and use heat shrink here to add extra protection And here is the result with a heat shrink added. All right, guys, this is it for this video. If you find this content useful, make sure to click like button. Also consider subscribing to this channel where we review a lot of stuff related to lithium batteries, solar system, etc. And as always, thank you for watching and see you later.